Cowboy. Yeah. Play it on me, son. Well, basically, we're just looking for some old appliances that you wouldn't mind us tearing apart. So well, we you make look it around and see what you can see. You know. See what's over there. To make a welder, the boys can use transformers from regular household appliances. I don't know. He's got that microwave right there. But you can handle the microwave now. That's what I cook my taters in. Now, do you want them ramps or not? If we're going to get you a bike that you can go get your ramps on, we need something to weld it together with, and we need to build a welder. Why don't they let them have that old microwave, man? We don't need that old thing. Just think of it as a trade. You're getting a go-kart for a microwave, basically. All right, you boys are going to take my microwave. You better make me a four-wheeler, or I'll shoot you. Now, you know, son, what I've done to you in the past. I know. We know. You better not lie to me, neither. Yeah, we need both of those microwaves. One transformer won't give them the power they need, so they'll have to bust open both of Cowboy's microwaves. Now, I've never made a welder out of a microwave before, so I might get my ass electrocuted, but I'm going to try it. See, this is the transformer right here. Mm -hmm. A microwave transformer uses a step-up system to increase household voltage, typically around 120 volts to the several thousand volts needed to cook food. You see how it's got that pack of coils on it, yeah. right? You see how tiny those wires are? Yeah. We got to cut those off and rewrap it with uh, an 8-gauge wire. Eugene and Spencer will need to rewire the transformers with a bigger gauge wire in order to step down the voltage and step up the amps. Higher amps give them a bigger jolt of energy, what they need to melt metal fast. When we plug this in, we can't touch either one of these things because they will, they will fry you dead as soon as you touch it. You can't touch them. Now that they've tinkered with the microwave transformers, the next stage of assembling the arc welder is to hook up the transformers to jumper cables, which will then be connected to a lead. All right, tell me when you're ready. Yeah, plug it in. All right, we're in. With a cable and rod attached to the welding surface, a circuit is created. When the rod is moved away, an electrical arc jumps out to fill the gap. I plugged in, and he made that first touching of the lead, and nothing happened. With his microwave in pieces, if that welder don't work, Cowboy sure ain't gonna be happy. You're almost better off getting electrocuted. 